If you want to learn how to make this delicious mouth-watering igusi soup, keep on watching. Welcome back to another cooking video. Today we'll be learning how to make igusi soup. Um, for our ingredients, we have our igusi seed, our habanero. Vita Q can be found at your um, local African market. We have our two onions, red bell peppers, black pepper, crayfish, palm oil, assorted meat, which includes dry fish, shrimp, cow skin, smoked turkey, and chicken. And we also have our spinach. Next, we're gonna season our assorted meat, but for now, we're gonna put our dry fish aside because we're gonna put some water on it and we're gonna use that water and put it in our soup. Um, I'm gonna add some black pepper to our meat. And I'm also gonna add one beta cube to our assorted meat. And then we're gonna mix that and put that aside and let that marinate. Next, we have our dry fish. Your dry fish, you can also find um, this at your local African market. There's different type of um, fish that they have. I'm just gonna break this and then I'm gonna take out the bones from the center because I don't want it getting stuck in somebody's throat when they're eating. So I'm just gonna take these out. Doing that, I'm gonna add some hot water and just let it sit for like three to five minutes. And then I'm gonna use that water to um, cook our steamed meat with it so it have that smoky um, taste to it. And then we're also gonna put that in our soup. Next, we're gonna cut up one of our onions. We're gonna chop it into smaller pieces because we're gonna fry it in our oil when we do our sauce. After dicing our onions, we're gonna, the next onion, we're gonna cut it into bigger pieces, but we're gonna blend this with um, our red bell pepper and also our habanero peppers. I will be blending this off camera. Next, we're gonna chop up um, our spinach. I'm gonna chop the spinach and just let it um, put it aside for when we're um, ready for it. Um, sometimes people use um, bitter leaf and other leaf in Nigeria to cook this um, delicacy, but today we'll be using spinach because it was the easiest to find. And I'm just gonna chop this spinach on the board. I'm gonna take this part out. Next, we're gonna make our igusi. Um, first, we're gonna add our palm oil to our pot and we're gonna let this heat up just a little bit. After our palm oil heats up, we're gonna add our onions um, and let that saute in our palm oil. And here is our blended um, bell pepper, red bell peppers with our habaneros and um, our onions as well. We're gonna put that in there. And here we have our igusi seeds blended. Um, I blended that off camera before we started the video just to make the video go a little faster. Um, and now I'm going to add the onions. I'm going to let that fry in. And I'm also going to put some of our crayfish blended in here. So it cooks with it. And then we're going to mix this. We're just gonna cook um, our onions and let it get a little bit translucent. 
And then we're gonna add our bell peppers and habanero blend to the mixture. Next, we're gonna add our blended bell peppers and we're gonna fry this in here as well. And we're gonna mix. mixture has been um, frying for the last five to seven minutes we're gonna put one Vita cube in here after we put our Vita cube in our mixture we're gonna mix so all that seasoning goes everywhere in our sauce we're gonna let it cook for one to two more minutes and then we're gonna add our igusi next we're gonna add our igusi just a friendly reminder, everybody cooks their igusi differently. Some people like their igusi thicker than others for our household. We like it a little bit um, not too thick. And you just have to cook it the way that best suits you, that you enjoy it. I'm just going to add this and I'm going to keep mixing. I'm also going to add the rest of our crayfish in here too and then I'm gonna mix it smells really good that crayfish give it that extra flavor after frying down our goosey for the last 15 minutes we're gonna add our assorted meat that we cooked off camera I'm just gonna put this there we're gonna mix it in and also we're gonna add our dry fish Now we're going to add our dry fish to our agusi. We're going to mix this in. And we're also going to use our um, broth that we had on our meat. And we're going to put this in here. And we're going to stir that really nicely. This is already looking very delicious. Next, I'm gonna add another um, Vita Cube to our Igusi. Um, I did not put salt in here because this has salt in it. So I'm just adding two to our pot. And then I also put one onto our steamed meat and then use the broth in here and I'm gonna mix that we're gonna let this cook for another five ten minutes now that our igusi has been cooking for ten minutes we're gonna add our spinach that we chopped up earlier now we're gonna mix really well and we're gonna let our spinach cook with our igusi and also you want to try and um, your soup to see how it tastes if you need to add more seasoning um, for now I think this is perfectly seasoned um, I'm just gonna let this cook for another five more minutes and we're gonna check on our igusi now that our igusi have been cooking for 10-15 minutes we're just gonna mix this and our igusi is ready to be served. Just a quickly, um, quick reminder, igusi can be eaten with fufu, eba, rice, any one of those of your choice. Um, I like to eat it with the fufu and also rice. Other people like to eat it however way they choose, but I prefer to eat it with either fufu or rice. Here's the final look of our igusi soup. I hope you enjoy watching this video. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you try this recipe at home, please let us know in the comments below. And also please follow us on all of our social media platforms. Thanks for watching.